So Greg gets emails every once in a while. Our executive producer Greg Todorov gets emails every once in a while from from companies and such to say, "You ought to talk about this company." Mm -hmm. And suddenly you get a call about a company called TC Biofarm Holdings. Of course, they're publicly traded under the stock symbol TCBP. And uh, sure enough, Greg uh, Greg important enough doesn't get the PR person, gets the CEO of oh the boy. company. Oh uh, boy, how big? Uh, Brian Coble uh, is the CEO of the company. He joins us here via Zoom. Brian, how are you? Welcome to the program. Uh, fantastic. Thanks for having me. And, uh, you know, to be fair, uh, I think Greg unfortunately got me and not our PR person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so talk about, uh, since we haven't had you on the program before, talk about what you guys are up to. What's, uh, what's the lead, uh, what's the lead um, uh, drug or therapy and what are you working on? Yeah, so our lead product is TCB008. It's an allogeneic gamma delta T cell. So allogeneic means we take it from a healthy donor and we give it to a sick patient. Uh, the gamma delta T cell is a specific type of T cell within your immune system. It plays between the innate and adaptive immune parts of the system, and it reacts to something called isopentanol pyrophosphate, which well, saying that word is the hardest part of being CEO. Yeah. We'll call it IPP for short. Um, all sick and disease cells emit IPP, including all tumors ever discovered and studied. So our idea is, can we take healthy donors with healthy gamma delta T cells and expand them out into hundreds of millions and billions and put those gamma delta T cells back into sick patients who, and then use those cells to do what they do naturally and go kill tumors. Right now we're in AML, we have a phase 2B in the UK going on uh, and a phase 1B IND just accepted in the US. So, so with respect to the diseases, you talk about multiple diseases, diseases. are they all cancer related? No, we have a proof of concept and antifungal coming which is aspergillus and candida specifically. Interestingly, you know, the way I sort of talk to people about it is if we know the gamma delta in nature goes after all sick and disease cells, because that's all that emits IPP, we view the immune suppressed, immune compromised patients as our target audience. So I, I kind of joke that, you know, if it's a happy meal, we want to be the French fries. So we don't <laughs> care what your standard of care is, right? You sense. get a hamburger, which is chemotherapy. You get a cheeseburger, which is a uh, biospecific antibody, whatever you're getting. We just want to be alongside that as a combination mm -hmm. to support your immune system and put you in a better position as a patient to be healthier in that moment. So that's the general premise here. And I, you know, we think it's going to work. We've seen efficacy in the phase 1B is early on. The proof of concept we believe is going to read out really, really well. So it's an exciting time for us. But, but you know, it's, we'll, we'll see. It's, it's biotech. Well, you never know. Well, with, with that philosophy, that makes your addressable market enormous. It's not just one disease. It's not just one 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 lane. I mean, that makes it the addressable market what, ten times larger than, than if you had if you were just solving one problem, correct? Yeah, and look, we're, we're not a panacea. You know, we're not going to solve everything. But but I do believe that cell therapy in general is the future. And the gamma deltas, given how they orchestrate the immune response, their role in nature, they're a really good de facto, basically fallback. And since we know they're not toxic, right? If you're a physician. And I know there's an upside to this, meaning it might have anti-tumoral effect. It might help you fend off viruses and things like that, which is what they do in nature. And I know there's no toxicity, no drug and drug interaction, no graft versus host disease. My downside is non-existent. And my upside as a physician is I might actually help this patient, you know, fight off something or even become healthier, right? So why would you not give them a quick shot? We're not an IV, we're a bolus injection. So there's a lot of benefit here to the patient with not a lot of downside. So to your point, we think the addressable market is, you know, hundreds of billions. Wow. Brian, is this a situation where it's more of a pre uh, preemptive therapy or is it a situation where, you know, you go to your doctor and he, and he or she says, hey, this might be going on. I think we should use this for you. Funny you ask that because I was actually talking about this yesterday. Right now, the target is because you have to go this way with the FDA hey, we think the indication is X, you have this, you should get TCB008. Okay. But if you roll that forward, right, and you're talking about flu season, COVID, all these viruses that are coming, right, and you get these vaccines that work 50% of the time, sometimes, sometimes it's 25% of the time, right? Why would you not, at a certain age, just get a shot of gamma deltas every single month, gotcha. right, as a prophylactic? Because mm -hmm. that's what they're doing right now. You're, you all in that studio are, are exposed right now to the flu, your, your body's making micro cancers, all these sorts of issues. And the reason those don't advance into a major issue, full-blown flu, whatever it is, 
is because the gamma delta is doing its job. It's a shark, it's swimming around, it smells IPP, it kills that cell. Mm -hmm. So to your point, if you roll it forward, the natural inclination is you just start getting these gamma deltas at a certain point in the year to defend yourself in a stronger manner against the flu, COVID, various other viral indications, fungal indications, antimicrobial issues for us, as well as oncology down the road. I can tell you, um, it's exciting because the, the more you say, that's, it's almost like the, the, the addressable market gets larger with every, every sentence <laughs> right. you talk about. Right. The, uh, talk, talk about your milestones and what's happening here. What, what do you look forward to here in the next couple of years? Yeah, so, so this year is actually chock full of them. Um, we'll have formulated proof of concept and an IND submitted for our antifungal, antimicrobial this year. We'll get an interim data look in AML and our phase 2B in the second half of this year. Uh, and we'll dose our first three patients in our phase 1B in the U.S. this year. Um, and that doesn't include any of the potential combination therapies that we're trying to figure out how we're going to make that work with partners and things like that. Um, as you guys know, partner means there's somebody else on the other side of the conversation, sure. so I don't control all of it. Um, but there's a ton of milestones chock full in there, and those are all major inflection points. I mean, you're talking about platform expansion. You're talking about real hardline data showing, again, the efficacy of the, of the product. We've already dosed five patients in the phase 2B. We had a review of that. We're now moving forward at a higher dose level. So we're excited about 2024. 2025, you're talking about a pivotal study in AML, a phase 2B in the U.S., the phase 1B in antifungal, antimicrobial, you know, various platform expansion steps from there as well. So the next 18 to 24 months are really just chock full of inflection points. Um, and, and to your point about the growing market, you know, I, I sort of joke, you know, it sounds like magic when you talk about it. And sure. I, I do think that everybody in our company is basically, they're magicians, right? They yeah. just make things happen <laughs> out of thin air. So, you know, they're phenomenal. You know, I just get to the, the opportunity to talk about them and tell people how great they are, frankly. Brian, I hope you'll come back with us. His name is Brian Coble. He is the uh, CEO of TC Biofarm. Hold it. Thanks for having us. You're coming back. TCBP, that's the, that's the symbol. TCBP. Taking care of business. Yeah.